Hello and welcome back to Sword of Strategy. This time I'll be reviewing the new Yu-Gi-Oh! ban list. It just dropped last night. Uh, I'm pretty big into Yu-Gi-Oh! Haven't done anything about it yet on the channel, but I hope to in the future. But for now, just do the ban list. Trying to maybe keep up with the news and shit like that. I won't be doing like news news, but yeah. Uh, for anyone new and who's really interested in Yu-Gi-Oh! Don't sub like just for Yu-Gi-Oh! content. That's not, that's not, you know, I'm not going to be doing that. But yeah. Um, yeah, going to... Give my thoughts, I suppose. Um, I'll just start straight away. Samsara Lotus. Uh, it's an FTK. That's kind of all that needs to be said. The less FTKs, the better. I've never even heard of this card before I saw it here, so I don't know. I can't really give my opinion on that. Less FTKs, the better. That's my opinion. Nightmare Goblin. Um, I feel like this is just the first example, like the minor. Well, not minor, but the first example of Konami just trying not to ban Firewall Dragon. Um... Like, if Firewall was banned, I could see this being banned along with it. Like, the extra normal summon can be made in any deck and possibly even get the draw if you uh, link summon enough. So I can understand it is a good card and it's kind of, it's like Seraphonite, but you don't have to run Garnet or extra Brilliant Fusion. So I understand this, but also I'll be complaining about Firewall in a bit later down the list. But yeah, for now, I don't know. Everyone agrees with what I just said, I feel like anyway. MX Saber Invoker, like this card just, it, every now and again it just pops up as an annoying fucking card, so I think it's about time it just goes, like, there is the, you know, Goki, run it, like, well, take advantage of it, of course, then the, before that there was Zodiac, for example, it's just, a, it's just a card that is, every now and again it gets really bad publicity, and I think that it's about time it kind of just goes to be honest I, I like the card in general and like you know weaker we'll call them weaker i guess rogue decks but yeah invoker kind of dumb every now and again it's just it's just it's kind of stupid Um, this is the card i was talking about a assault core this actually annoyed me so much like i don't think i've watched a couple other people's videos on their opinions on the ban list and stuff of course as you do as everyone does but like this card, no one really said that much about this other than, oh, I feel bad for ABC players. This happened. You lost ABC or um, Soul Core to one. This card is just like, I get, I get. Okay, so it's part of a a loop sort of thing where if there's an Soul Core in the grave and a Soul Core on the field and Firewall on the field, the Soul Core can go to the grave as a link material, get the other one back from grave as a loop and keep doing that. And I think there's also stuff to do with Cannon Soldier. But the problem, the problem with this I have is that it's clearly Konami or... I know everyone knows this already, but this, this is what the video is about. So, like, the main characters, boss monsters, Firewall Dragon. I remember, basically, obviously, like, before the last... This ban list and the last one, people were speculating, oh, will they errata Firewall? Will they ban Firewall? Oh, I don't think they will because he's the main character's boss monster. Oh, I think they will because this card's bullshit. Basically, this is the greatest example we have yet of... Konami willing to just, I think, basically kill a deck in order to keep Firewall from being, you know, banned. It's like that, like it's, it's so fucking annoying. Like I don't, I don't play ABCs. It makes it sound like I'm an ABC player. Like I have no problem with ABC. I know a lot of people don't like them because they're kind of straightforward and they're annoying. They're a good deck, basically. Like, but I think the more competitive decks, the better. I hate when they cripple decks completely. And I feel like that's what they did here in order to keep a stupid fucking degenerate card called Firewall off the ban list. It's just so annoying. Like, that's kind of my rant. I'm not going to talk about that too much more. But really, did this deserve to be banned or to, lim to be limited? No, it didn't. ABCs aren't like meta breaking deck. They're not like. They're a gr good deck. I, li I like them. I have no problem with them. But yeah, just Firewall should have been hit. Like, it's so fucking stupid. Like, oh, I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Stratos, back to one after everyone fucking crying about it for years. I honestly don't know if getting one Stratos back... Ah. Hero, Hero Lives went to one. Uh, spoilers. But basically, is this better than three Hero Lives? Maybe. I don't know. I kind of... He's not once per turn, so there's probably a way to maybe get a couple searches a turn or something early. I don't know. Off him. You know what I mean? But we'll see. I think... It's hard, it's hard to know. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say about him. People can fuck off about that now, anyway, at least. But now there's Construct, I guess. So, yeah, bring Construct back, please. Morphing Jarrett, Flip Effect, doesn't really matter. 
I guess if you like playing old cards and you want to try and make this work, maybe there's a way book a Tayu or something, but other than that. Okay, Electromite. So Electromite to one. This is good. I feel I feel like basically Electromite has been there's been talk about Electromite going to one for a good while, like basically it's before it was even printed, I'd say. And I feel like if it was banned it'd be dumb. I don't want it to be banned. I feel like it's like it's strong, but now if it gets say negated or ghost ogred or something like they're kind of i don't know it maybe it makes room for some of the uh, pendulum magician cards coming back off the ban list or get raised from one to two or whatever you know what i mean basically raise the numbers of cards that are they currently have in the list so maybe i don't know electromite at one i think is good omega at one i think this is a long time coming like for a long time it kind of fell off and it wasn't really seen as that much of a problem card anymore but really it is kind of a problem card, like it's part of all these dumb fucking triple omega in one turn shit or kind of, yeah, kind of degenerate crap. So I feel like one is fine. If you really want to, he still can return himself to the extra deck and grind a bit, you know, as he does. But yeah, he's still, he's still a good deck in the decks that he's good in, if that makes sense. Exiton, Exiton Knight. Um, I feel like this could have come back way sooner. There's nothing wrong with this card. I feel like... Back row heavy decks that run a lot of fl floodgates don't want to play this. And I feel like decks that f spam the field with a load of fucking monsters don't want to play this either. So, is there really a problem with this? I don't really think so. I feel like if you're playing Goki and you make this and expect to somehow use the effect at some point without just destroying all your shit, then you're kind of dumb. Like, basically what I'm trying to say is it's... I don't know. It's in a weird spot where basically the meta right now is like very spammed board... Or play like a shit ton of back row, and this doesn't really benefit either of those tactics very much at all. So, yeah. Here lives, talked about this already. Went to one, I feel like, just because they brought back Stratos, so I feel like it's fair enough. They still have three E call, they still have a Rota, they still have. Um, they now have Stratos, they have fucking. They play Summoner Monk, they play. You know what I mean? Like, they don't really. I don't think this hurts that much. Like, card destruction. I play Infernoids, I love Infernoids, I've been playing them since they were announced, in, like, before they actually came out in the OCG, and I feel like this could help my Infernoids, like, but this is clearly a push for Dangers, which kind of annoying that they do that, because it does seem quite obvious, but it's Konami, so sometimes they do shit like that. I feel like, just before any anyone, i basically just letting you know, I don't know shit on Konami as much as everyone else does, but sometimes, yeah, obviously they do stuff that's a bit, like, stuff that wouldn't make you happy, but, yeah, I don't know. I've been standing up for them the last while, except for all the short printing that really pissed me off. Anyway, that's another topic, but, yeah. And um, card destruction, cool card. I kind of think it would be good in my Infernoids, unless Danger become, like, tier, unless everyone's playing Dangers, basically, then I obviously won't want to play it, because it'll be, like, a hindrance to me more than help. Uh, Hornet Drones, I like this hit, I think to one is great, I fucking hate that everyone was running Sky Strikers in other decks, I really don't like when that happens, uh, and then to one, I think it means that Sky Strikers can still play and are still pretty strong, and yeah, as I was saying earlier with ABCs, I really hate when they cripple a deck, and I feel like they managed to hit this deck without crippling it, they just stopped other people from playing the engine, and Sky Strikers probably are still fairly competitive, I'm sure they are, one Hornet Drones, they just have to... Yeah, 100 drones is a hit to them. Let's not, you know, mess around or whatever. But I think this is fair enough, like, to be honest, right? Like, yeah, I'm happy enough with that. Anyway, super polymerization. I don't feel like there's any deck that really can, like, obviously take advantage of this. There's obviously Cyber Dragons. There's obviously um, Invoked. Like, we didn't get a Construct, so it doesn't matter about that. Maybe Thunder Dragons when they come out. I don't know. But yeah, it's it's a good card, but it's one of those things that I feel like it's just it's just one of those cards that won't be on the. I think it won't be limited for long. I think it'll go back to banned because it's just. I'm pretty sure it says you can't chain to it. You can use an opponent's monsters. It's a quick spell. I'm pretty sure this is all from memory, so I could be wrong. I don't know. It's just kind of it's kind of dumb. That's what I think. When and and then when another f good fusion deck comes along that can really take advantage of it, it'll be gone again. So I don't know. I'm not too crazy about that. Uh, Dark Destroyer. I was happy about this. I like Cosmos. I think Dark Destroyer could have come back to a while ago. Three, I'm not... Like, it could maybe come back to three as well, but I don't know. 
I feel like they're probably going to do the give it to Cliff Four Towers effect where, you know, it goes to one, two, ten, three. Um, yeah, I think I think this really helps Cosmos. I feel like they're a decent deck, way stronger than people give them credit for, but I say that about a lot of decks, to be honest. I like to kind of play not the meta against the meta, if you mean. But uh, Dark Destroyer, good, good, good card, for sure. And this really helps the deck, because people were playing fucking the one above that, the... What's what's it called? Dark Eclipser, I think it's called. I could be wrong, but yeah. Um, even people were playing fucking Dark Planet as well, which I guess isn't the worst card in the world, but it doesn't. You know, th this is better. This is definitely better. Um, interruption as well. Well, not really. I guess I don't know. You get, yeah, it is. It is. It's good. It's a great card anyway. Good for the deck. And will it make huge waves in the meta? No, probably not. Followed by the grave. Really weird. I'm not sure about this card why they hit it i don't know i guess a lot of decks are playing it but or yeah a lot of decks are playing it but that's not really the fault of the player that's kind of just how going first is pretty strong so i don't know it's like i feel like they put this to two because of the abc hit or something which is kind of funny but like obviously that's not why probably but i don't know i feel like uh, this card plus the hit to ABCs plus terraforming spoilers went to two, which isn't obviously that bad. I'll come back to that in a second. Uh, limited removal to two. I feel like I'm not sure about this card. It's not that big a deal. It's not the best card in the world or anything like that. But I don't like cards that are like this. I don't like cards that kind of promote annoying dumb shit. But I don't know. It's only bad decks. Well, it's only like lower. I don't want to say bad decks. It's only lower tier decks that will play this card. To be honest, I think. So, if it makes lower tier decks a bit more competitive, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, it doubles their attack, and then I think destroys them at the end of the turn. Isn't that right? But yeah, okay, that's good, I guess. Quick spell, if that makes a difference. Scapegoat. Um, to two. Kind of weird. Better than three, I guess. That's kind of everything I have to say about that. I don't know. It's just a strange one. It's like... I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't have much more to say about scapegoat going to two. I feel like that's not really that big a deal. Uh, sorry, I just got a message there. Ignore that. Terraforming to two. I feel like that's fine. Um, for decks like ABC and Tricksters, it's a bit annoying because it thins your deck and gets you another search, obviously, from your field spell. For, but for decks where their field spell is important, but it doesn't give them a plus, like say. Dinosaurs, Lost World, or Lair of Darkness, or something like that. I'm just thinking of them off the top of my head. This card, like, I don't know what you guys, if you guys agree with me, but I feel like decks where the field spell doesn't give you a search, running three of the field spell and three of the terraforming obviously sounds consistent, but too often I would draw, say, two terraforming and a field spell, or two field spell and terraforming, or even worse. So I feel like this kind of helps. Obviously, you can't play three terraforming anymore, so I feel like this kind of helps with that decision of running less terraforming because you don't want to make your deck less consistent but also you know what i mean um uh next thing towers to three doesn't really matter welcome back towers to three um that's fine it doesn't really help clee they still i think scout could come to two or even three but two for sure and that's kind of everything to say about that nothing really else to say about that disc disc commander um he got an errata, he's kind of slow now, so that's kind of that. Maybe someone will play him with success, but, like, I don't think he's broken. Obviously, he doesn't deserve, deserve to be on the ban list. Barrel from Different Dimension, I like this card. I feel like there are, will be decks that can use this well and that are happy to see this come to three. I don't know what deck would play to three, but it's not a bad card, and, yeah, doesn't deserve to be taken up a slot on the list anyway, that's for sure. Ring Destruction... I guess it's good for chain burn players. It's just one of those traps I've got in a rat at that time. Same with Crush Card Virus. And I think something else, maybe. I don't know. Um, it's kind of that. There's nothing really else to say about that. So that's my thoughts on the ban list in general. So if you agreed or disagreed, comment. Let me know what you think. Anything else that you're pissed that didn't get hit. For example, Firewall. Be a bit, you know, obviously, you don't. everyone doesn't need to say fucking Firewall. Everyone knows Firewall should have been bloody hit. Hornet. Insector Hornet, this is one card that I feel definitely should come back to three, for example, okay? Dragonfly is the problem, Hornet doesn't need to go. Uh, yeah, so there's an example of three. Um, if you, again, I'm going to reiterate, I think what I said at the start, if uh, you're looking for full-time Yu-Gi-Oh! content, this might not be the channel for you. 
But yeah, maybe have a look at my stuff, I guess. And yeah, thanks for watching. Tune in next time. Bye.